Hola, como esta? It's Whitney, how are you? I am doing just a neutral look today with some bright liner and it's inspired for 4th of July. I've got my red, uh, the only red top I had, which is <laughs> red and gray stripes. And so I have the blue liner just to have fun. I mean, it's nothing, it's not like red, white, and blue on your eyes or anything like that. It's neutral with a pop of blue liner so it's wearable you can even do this any other day of the year slowly showed you how to build up an intense blue liner if you don't have a blue liner at home um, you need a blue shadow a black liner and a white pencil liner as well and I'll show you in the beginning what's on my face well, if you want to learn how to get this look then keep watching. I'll see you soon. Thanks. I already started by doing my face and I'll show you what I used. I used the new NARS Pure Tinted, um, Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. And my shade is in Alaska Light 2. It's a little light for me right now, but I'll show you how you can always darken up a makeup, a foundation or a tinted moisturizer and you don't have to go out and buy a new shade. So how you would darken that up and what I used next was NARS Laguna Illuminator. And all you do is just squirt some in, in your hands and I use these two fingers and I go like this. And then I just pat it all around my face and it just gives me a little bit of bronze um, sheen to my skin. After that, I did my mini um, orgasm multiple. It's a peachy pink. It's really pretty on my cheeks. This actually came in a set, by the way, with the Laguna. And I set that with a mini, it's so cute, Super Orgasm blush. And as you can see, there are sparkles in there. I just used my MAC 109, dust off the sparkles, and put it on my cheekbones. I can even show you now. Just take it, dust it off. And put it on and For concealer I just wanted something really light so I use my Clinique airbrush concealer in 04 uh, neutral fair I feel this is a little too light for me so there's not a lot of shades to choose from but this definitely helps to brighten the under eye area for my lips I just use my Burberry number no. two lip cover in cameo and it's a really pretty neutral shade that I love using. Come on. There we go. It's so pretty. You will just love this shade. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. It's a really pretty peachy pink shade. And I just love, love, love the packaging. As a lip liner, the one I've been loving and using as my liner is Rimmel's 1000 Kisses uh, Stay On Lip Liner Pencil in Spice. And this is such a pretty color. We'll go ahead and swatch it. Whoa, it goes on super pigmented and it's foolproof, really easy to use. It just makes your lips look bigger. So if you're using a neutral shade, it's perfect. So I definitely recommend that one, and I know it looks like really pigmented, but when it's on the lips, it's that perfect neutral. For my eyes, what I want to do is just really neutral, just bright liner. So since it's 4th of July, we can celebrate red, white, and blue, and instead of doing red, white, and blue eyes, I think it'd be nice to do a neutral eye with some like blue liner, and I don't know, I think that'd be kind of fun. So I'm going to use this blue right here, which is called Atlantic Blue. This one's Blue Calm. This is more of a shimmery blue. You can do that. And this is Bang On Blue, which was limited edition. So I'm going to use this one right here. Go ahead and put on your favorite eye primer. I'm using my NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I always put it on the back of my hand like so, just to warm it up.
I'm going to stick to matte shades in here. And the one I'm going to do all over my eye is this one right here, which is Brulee. So Brulee is going onto the eyelid. Brulee is more of like a neutral, sandy color. It's not very white. take that on the highlight as well. Then I'm going to take this shade right here which is called yogurt just right in here to help brighten the eye. Next, I'm going to take Wedge right here from MAC. As you can tell, this is my matte palette by MAC. All of them are matte shades. Wedge is going right into the crease. And I always lift because I really want to get it into that crease so that way when I look back, it's blended. I want a little more defined crease, so I'm going to take a deeper shade. The deeper shade is called Charcoal Brown right here, and I'm just taking a smaller crease brush. I'm just creating more depth. All of my uh, blue liners are at my other house where I keep all my other makeup at my grandma's. So what I'm going to have to do is the closest thing to blue I have here with me is Mystery Eye Coal Pencil. You can use black and go over it with a blue. and Or you can just use a bright blue liner which I have at home. So this will be good enough. What I'm going to do is take the pencil with an angled synthetic brush and go over it. And this is just going to be the base for that blue eyeshadow we're doing. On top. You kind of want to do that flick. underneath right here below go directly into the shadow you want to pack it on Now another technique that you can do is you can use white eyeliner and actually go over it and it's going to make more blue. I'm doing a more subdued blue because I'm going over a darker color. And I'm not going like this. I'm actually just patting, patting, packing it on. Okay, so to get it brighter, what I did was I took Max Blue Calm right here 
and this time I went right over. And take it down. You can go in the waterline with um, like a white pencil. And this is what I'll show you. This is what I do. If I want it blue or any color in the waterline, I go in with white first. Or you could even do it like that alone. And I'm going over it with blue calm. Gonna have to redo my concealer, as usual. And as I'm looking at, I think we need a stronger cut crease. I'm gonna go in with Max Espresso and an angled brush by Mac. want a stronger crease because we've got so much color for liner. We also need to probably darken the brows. So for my brows I'm actually going to use charcoal brown which is really dark for me. But I really need them defined right now. And I love this brow brush. This is from Senna Cosmetics. And it is the Brow Shaper 605. It's beautiful. Let me show you. It's kind of rounded. And I'll show you a difference. Where this is really pointy. See how the center one right here is more rounded? It works with the eyebrow. Makes it really easy. The only really shimmery color I'm using is Max Nylon right here underneath, just underneath my brow bone or underneath my brow. Like a pointed concealer brush. So let me zoom in so you can see. Take a little bit of nylon in here as well. brighten up the inside. I used to hate nylon. Now I find I use it all the time just highlighting little tiny parts of the face. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some false lashes and I will be right back you guys. Hey guys so here is the finished look of the eyes. It's kind of fun actually. I haven't done pops of color in a while so I absolutely love neutral eyes with pops of color of liner I think it's beautiful and fun and festive definitely so it's not over the top you know it's just adding that something blue in there for 4th of July so I hope you enjoyed oh and let me do a close-up so here's the eyes with the lashes and everything else Anyways, so thanks for taking the time to watch. Thank you so much for commenting, rating, and subscribing. But really, thanks for commenting because I read all of your comments and I respond to all of you. And I love you, my subscribers. You are amazing people. Amazing comments that just make me cry sometimes. You have no idea. Cries of joy, so don't worry. <laughs> But um, I hope you enjoyed and keep watching for more. I've got so many more things coming up. A green look, 
and maybe I'll do another NARS face tutorial. I don't know what colors to do. Maybe I'll do like a midnight sexy smoky look or something like that. And Josie Moran and Zuzu Lux, which is coming up, and this is crooked. There we go. So keep watching, stay tuned for more, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much. Bye.